Oh hoy people, Vaniverse Gaming here with another video on Elder Scrolls Online. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can max out your Dark Brotherhood skill line in about 10 hours or in one day. Um, to do that we got to complete a couple things first and step one is you have to travel to the Gold Coast and you have to pick up the quest from um, Emily, Amelie, whatever you want to call her and she's going to have you kill an innocent uh, person in the city of Anvil and here's one I'm gonna shoot him with my bow gonna kill him and then that's that so that will lead to step two and that is once you kill an innocent you're gonna meet a courier who's going to tell you to go to see the speaker and get your first real quest line in the Dark Brotherhood so we speak to the courier and he sends us to go see speaker uh, Terranus so this would be the third step that we're going to have to complete is the speaker gives you a pretty long quest line. Um, this is probably the longest quest you're going to do before we can get to the point where we can start farming Dark Brotherhood skill points. Um, I just did it. I come back. And this is step four is you're going to get a quest to head over to the Dark Brother Sanctuary. So once we leave here, you look on your map. It's right above Anvil. There's a way shrine and it looks like a hand. You enter the Dark Brother Sanctuary and you talk to Astara. Astara is going to pretty much give you a quest to run around the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary and speak to everyone and introduce yourself. And this is kind of something we have to do. But by this point, you should already be uh, Dark Brotherhood level two. And since there's only 10 levels total, you only have to get eight more levels from this point. Um, each level requires 50 skill points to proceed to the next level. So to do 1 to 10, you're going to need 500 total Dark Brotherhood skill points. So we're going to run around and we're going to talk to everybody. And the last guy that I'm going to speak to is a guy named Elam Drawls, Drawless, something like that. And this is the fifth and final step that we need to complete in order to get to a point where we can start grinding Dark Brotherhood. So this guy's going to send us to Kavach, Kavach, I think is what it's called, and murder somebody. So this is kind of the start of our marked for death quest line. And this is what we want to open up because that's what we're going to use to level up completely. So we find this gal. They always have this little hand above their, their head. This is the icon they're going to have. Um, when you have a specific task, uh, if it just says kill a bunch of citizens, they're not going to have any hands of them. You can just pick whoever you want. So we killed our target, we return back to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, and we're going to return back to Elam, and he is basically going to give us a little bag of goodies, but the reason why we have completed this is because after you complete this step, you will unlock the March for Death repeatable quest. So this quest is repeatable. You can do it over and over and over again. There is no time or any, re any restrictions on it. And... When you complete a Mark for Death quest, you can gain five points towards your Dark Brotherhood skill line for a regular contract and ten points for a spree. So the only difference is on a regular contract, as you see I'm picking up here, you only, you only kill one person. A spree, you kill three. But due to the time constraints, it's better to just keep picking up the quest and dropping it until you get a spree. If sprees give you 10 Dark Brotherhood points per each spree, um, it's not that much harder to kill three people instead of one in a location, so your travel time is still way, way less because you don't have to do twice as much to get the same result. So I'm going to keep abandoning the quest until I can get my spree quest. So once I have my spree quest, it's pretty simple from this point. Um, there's a way shrine right outside the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, um, so what I'll do is I'll look on the map. This one has me going to Ebonheart and Stonefall. So I'm going to spend the 146 gold to go there, but then I can just use a way shrine from Ebonheart to go back to the way shrine at the, in front of the Dark Brotherhood. And it's surprising how fast you can complete these spree quests. So right here, um, I'm in the actual area. I decided to go into a house. You can see up at the top it's telling me that I'm in the area to do my spree kill. So I'm going to break into a house because less chance of being caught. 
Um, one thing you can notice is that you can kill these people a lot faster if you don't care about bounty. Like in this in this area here, I think the guys the girls turned and I murder her, and she sees me, so she actually runs out the door, and I don't get a chance to kill her, so I don't get credit for it. But I mean, if you really wanted to, you can just attack everybody, and yeah, your bounty's gonna go up. See, someone saw me here too, and then I get to the third person and kill them. So let's just say if you you know on average, it'll take you 10 minutes to complete a spree. You know, by the time you get there and say you kill three people and then you get back, I'm going to say 10 minutes. So if it takes you 10 minutes to complete one and you can do, you know, six in an hour, then that's 10 Dark Brotherhood points per each spree. That's 60 Dark Brotherhood points that you're going to get every single hour. So if we look at the numbers and kind of go over it, basically you need 500 total to level up you're going to be dark brotherhood level two before you even get to the spree quest so let's just say you're at 110 so at 110 that leaves you 390 more to go so that would be 39 spree quests if you can do six of them in one hour six goes into 39 about six times so it will take you about six hours to complete the rest of those quests. But you have to consider that the, the quest lines that you have to do to finally get to that point probably is going to take you a couple hours as well. So that's why I say in ten hours or less you could max out your Dark Brotherhood skill line. So I hope you guys like this video. It's a short video, but if you're really interested in this, this is a very quick way to level up your Dark Brotherhood skill line. So. Please uh, make sure to leave any comments below if you have any for me. Um, like the video if you like the video. And, of course, sub to our channel by clicking in the bottom right-hand corner. Um, I can tell you that we have really grown these last couple months, and my brother and I both are very excited about that. We're going to be at 500 subs here soon, and we just really appreciate you guys following us. And there's a lot to come, so just stick around, tell your friends, and I hope to keep see you guys again. This is Vandiverse Gaming. Thanks again for watching. Cheers. Peace out.